Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. You know, we love anniversaries, and tomorrow is a huge anniversary. 100 years ago tomorrow on the 23rd, the first broadcast, live broadcast, of a high school sporting event happened in the country. And ladies and gentlemen, it happened right here in Iowa, in Marshalltown, Iowa, to be exact. And joining us right now is a good friend of ours, Todd Steinkamp is here. He's the owner and general manager of News Talk 1230, KFJB AM, FM, and now TV in Marshalltown. How you doing, Todd? Oh, uh, Lou, good to hear you, buddy. Good to see you. Always great to talk to you, my friend. All right, 100 years tomorrow. That is huge. I look pretty good for 100. I know I? you really do. When we said, told people we were going to talk to you, saying, well, you must have aged well. But no, this is something that is very special, and it is noted. And uh, we're going to talk about a proclamation that was uh, given to you last week. But uh, again, 100 years, a live broadcast of a high school sporting event happened right there in Marshalltown at your radio station. Yeah, so KFJB next year officially is going to be 100 years old uh, with the advent of the FCC. So 1923 is the 100-year anniversary of KFJB. But in 1922, KFJB was an experimental radio station at 10 whopping watts, Lou, at 10 wow. watts. <laughs> and uh, they were three blocks from Franklin Field. And Franklin Field is where the Marshalltown Bobcats played football. So uh, being three blocks from the field, the guys got together uh, constructed a, a line of cords, uh, one cord out the window of what was then Marshalltown Electric, ran it three blocks through a ditch to Franklin Field, and was able to physically broadcast the first high school football game ever. Oh, that is absolutely. How did they do it before, Todd? So uh, in the past, what would happen is, is uh, reporters to, to different radio stations would call in and relay the information to the announcer, the announcer would then relay the information to the listening audience. But never before had there ever been a direct line from a, a sporting event to the listener. And that's what this was, was the first broadcast of that high school football game. And you guys have been covering uh, the team uh, ever since. We're talking about uh, the Bobcats and the athletics there. Look, look at the broadcast team, KFJB broadcast team up in the booth. Uh, that looks pretty uh, like, pretty cool. And But they were the first ones that even considered doing that. Uh, what are people thinking now when the, and when the radio station is still around after 100 years? Yeah, you don't get a lot of that. And, and Lou, coming from that background, too, you know all about it. A lot of times call letters would change and stuff. But KFGB is was the 19th radio station in the country to sign on the air. Um, and, and to have the same call letters and to be able to provide that information to the people of Marshalltown in Marshall County, that's huge. And to be able to showcase all the student athletes who have come in the past 100 years uh, to be able to broadcast those games, that, that's – we. we we really hang our hat on that. That was very important to us to be, be able to do that and continue to do that, too. Yeah, it must be uh, very proud in the community there in Marshalltown to be able to have a radio station like yours and be able to have that kind of storied history. And the people still support it, don't they? Yeah, uh, we've had uh, tremendous success. We've launched KFJB TV this year. So now our listeners can actually become viewers and watch all the uh, football games and, and basketball games and baseball and softball games that we wow. broadcast. And, um, you know, we've had a great uh, support from local advertisers here in the community. They all wanted to be a part of this because they know how important it is to support the local student athletes and the local school here in Marshalltown. Now, we understand that you and the mayor got together uh, last week and uh, a special proclamation uh, was handed to you. We have some video uh, of that here. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was really neat. So the actual anniversary, as you alluded to, Lou, is coming up this Friday, the 23rd. That'll be 100 years. Unfortunately, it's an away game for us. Ah. So we're going to be on the road. So we did it uh, two weekends or two Fridays ago to be able to showcase that. But uh, Marshalltown Mayor Joel Greer gave us the proclamation for KFJB Broadcasting Day and just recognizing that for 100 years, um, a lot of people have come and gone, but KFJB has been there announcing all of these games uh, over the radio. And now, of course, we're doing it via the technology we have available to us today. Yeah, very cool. Uh, we applaud you uh, for your leadership and for the radio station. Uh, you're on AM, you're on FM, and now you're on TV. If people want to follow along with what you guys are doing, they want to follow along with the Bobcats and experience a 100-year history, where can they go? 
Yeah, real simple, uh, 1230kfjb.com. You can also watch the games on our YouTube channel, which is KFJB TV. You can watch the games on our Facebook uh, page at KFJB. You can also watch it on Twitter as well. So numerous platforms to watch the Marshalltown Bobcats on KFJB. Todd Steinkamp, congratulations for 100 years of live broadcasting of high school sporting events at KFJB. And we will see you real soon, my friend. Cool, buddy. Thanks, Lou. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.